Hi, and welcome back to The Layout. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the rotary dumper, and specifically in an unfortunate accident which we happen to capture on camera. This is how the rotary dumper is supposed to work. A loaded coal car is positioned onto the lift section of the track, which then uncouples the car and it rolls freely into the rotary dumper. The sides of the car are clamped, and the dumper rotates to unload the coal just like the real thing. After the coal is unloaded, the rotary dumper returns to the home position, the clamps release, and because the track is on a decline, the car is able to roll out of the dumper freely. And while recently filming a video on the operations of this rotary dumper, which will be coming soon, we happen to capture an unfortunate accident, which I wanted to share with you guys. Take a look at the rotary dumper in the top right part of your screen. And one more time, just a little bit closer. As you probably saw, the cart wasn't correctly positioned in the rotary dumper when the dump sequence was initiated. And we actually have infrared sensors built into this rotary dumper, which is supposed to prevent that from happening. However, just like any new piece of engineering or design, sometimes you have to figure out the bugs and go through a couple iterations to get it working correctly. And this is a bug that we uncovered. It's actually a funny story. My friend who custom designed the software to run this thing sent me a new file which would have prevented this from happening. However, I decided to film the video first and then install the new updated software. Hindsight's 2020, but at least it made for an interesting video. Unfortunately, the car was so wedged into the dumper and the piling that the only way to get it out was to turn the dumper back on and return it to the home position with the motor running. Fortunately, it didn't break anything, but it did make a huge mess in the rotary dumper area, which we had to spend several minutes vacuuming out. And the car received a little bit of damage as well, which we figured we'd play along with, weather it up, and add a little bit of fun graffiti to the top con. And credit for that goes to my friend Grayson as well. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. Thankfully, the car is once again rolling, and the rotary dumper is operational again, and only sustained minimal damage. So I hope you all enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next part of the live coal load series and the rotary dumper coming soon.